Brittany Dyfel and student athletes Reagan Kramer and Rylan Hedgecock. We'll start with an opening statement from coach and then move on to questions for our student athletes. We'll then dismiss them and then go back to coach for questions. Coach, you can get us started with an opening statement. Just really proud of the way the team responded today. Um, it was a tough game earlier and I felt like it showed a ton of maturity and a ton of character to uh, turn it around and answer and respond and uh, fight and go for it in the way that they did tonight. Um, just really, really proud of their fight and their heart. Um, Notre Dame's tough. Um, I just told them every time they swing, you feel it. Um, and uh, I thought Shanice threw an exceptional game tonight. And I'm uh, just really proud of these girls and uh, just want to continue watching them play as long as we can. Now questions for our student athletes. If you're joining us via Zoom, please use the raise your hand function or message in the chat if you have a question. We'll start with Ethan. I'm just either of you. Um, I'm sure you're all exhausted. It's been a long day, but I'm sure nobody's more exhausted than Shanice just with the day that she's had. What what does it do for y'all having somebody like her who can come out and have that type of performance in such a big game? Um, I think it just tells a lot about her character. I mean, obviously, the first, day, first game didn't go her way, and for her to be able to bounce back in such a short time and pitch a really good game the second, second game, um, it just shows how tough she is. Yeah, she's always just calm, cool, and collected, and that's what we get from her every outing, and that's what you saw tonight. And then for um, either of you, I know it's, uh, you know, uncharted waters as far as now you need to win two tomorrow, but y'all have been there this year um, at Alabama and Tennessee where y'all lost the first game and won two in a row. Uh, what does having that in your back pocket kind of do for you heading into tomorrow? Um, I feel like, I feel like obviously we know that obviously we have a loss, but we're just going to treat it as every other game. We're going to come out and play the best that we can and fight every single pitch until we don't have any more outs. So, yeah, I think we're just treating it like a series. So just come out and play to win the series, just like we did all SEC. Well, uh, Rylan, you basically kissed the parking lot there on that last one. How'd that feel? Um, It, it felt good. <laughs> <It's> um, <all right. laughs> um, Yeah, it felt good. It's, it's nice whenever um, it comes off the bat and you kind of already know that it's out. So, yeah, it, it felt good. Great. You've come up in some huge moments here in the last couple of days. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing great. <laughs> um, just I just got hot at the right time and just rolling with it. It's a game of highs and lows, so just riding the waves. Yeah, do you feel like it's a different playoff mentality for you or – no, I just – I don't really think much. I'm just up there just swinging. I'm always trying to do my best, so same mentality. Don't treat it any differently. Go ahead. Yeah, Rylan, on, it was a tight game, um, and then you hit that home under. Really, I just felt like the whole stadium took a breath. Um, we just walked me through that at that, um, what you were kind of looking for and how you got that hit. Um, I wasn't really looking for anything in particular. I feel like – Going in there, I knew that her, all her outside stuff, to me at least, was way outside. And she just came more up and in. And I tend to like inside pitches more. So I just saw a screwball and hit it. <laughs> all right. And then we'll take a question from Zoom. Justin, you may unmute yourself. Yeah, I, I like both players' perspectives, if you don't mind. Um, that loss to start the day could have done a lot of things emotionally, mentally for you guys, and instead it went the other direction. You came back against Notre Dame, a strong performance all around. Can you just tell me what, what was it like in the locker room? What was it like before the Notre Dame game? Just to make sure that you had your minds right, knowing you needed to stave off elimination to play another day. Um, I feel like we're just a very goofy team. Um, so we kind of just were goofing around, uh, ate some sandwiches and <laughs> we just <laughs> try, try not to put more pressure than we needed to put on ourselves. Um, and yeah, and just, like I said, be goofy and be ourselves and not try to get out of ourselves, um, enforce something. And we know, we know that we can come back and fight and that's what we did. I think that knowing we didn't play Arkansas softball made it easy to move on because it's not who we were. We didn't play our best and lose. That, I feel like that's harder, you know, when you think the other team's better than you. But we didn't play Arkansas softball and we lost. So we know that we can come back tomorrow and make a statement. So I feel like that's why it was easier to move past it. Thanks, you too. You may be dismissed. Thank you.
All right, now questions for coach. We'll get started with Ethan. Just kind of what I asked them about how, um, for at least for Arkansas in a regional setting, this is new territory as far as needing to win two in a row tomorrow, but that y'all have been there this year in series and done the same thing. Um, just what's the message, I guess, to the team heading into tomorrow, um, knowing what's at stake? Um, I think the message is the same as it was after game one. It's just let, let's just go for it. Let's go for it. Um, let's lean into each other. Let's get stronger together. Um, uh, let's fight every pitch, um, and just put our hearts out there. Um, and that's what they did tonight. And that's what I would, I would expect from them tomorrow. Um, and just to really be focused on each pitch. You can't win the second one if you don't get the first one. So just focusing each pitch and fighting together. And then just what do you think of Shanice, her outing? Well, I'm just really proud of her. Um, the first game was very uncharacteristic. She just looked a little wonky. I mean, I know you've seen her a lot. Um, and so for her to respond and answer um, in the second game, it just showed a ton of guts and a ton of character. Uh, I'm just really proud of her. Well, uh, what do you think the difference was between Shanice in game three and game five? Was it just a mental thing or was it? Uh, I mean, her timing was a little off, um, which caused her just her release, her delivery to be a little off. Um, but the best thing about Shanice is that she doesn't really harp on anything. Um, when she has a game like that, she just kind of leaves it because she knows she's a really great pitcher. Um, so we kind of worked through some things in the bullpen and um, and she pitched lights out tonight. Clearly came through there in that last game. What sort of adjustment do you think you need to make seeing Oregon again tomorrow? Oh, we just need to play a better version <laughs> than what we did today. Um, and just keep throwing punches. Uh, they're a great team. They put a lot of pressure on you offensively. Um, and so I think just keep throwing punches and fight. And uh, and we'll give it everything we have. Yeah. What would you think of Ryland's blast? To, uh, it was nice. Doing? I always like also, I, I know she likes the feeling when it's out off, off the bat. I too like it when it's out off the bat. So it was fun to celebrate that. Yeah. And um, Reagan's come through in some huge moments mm -hmm. here. Did you see that clutch scene in her? Oh, well, yeah, she's been huge for us all year. Um, she has just been so steady in the two hole. And I mean, she just very rarely has bad at bats. Um, she makes pitchers work. She knows exactly the zone she's going to attack and she's seeing the ball really well right now. And, um, she's in a really great spot, but she's been great for us all year. Yeah. She hasn't done a whole bunch offensively, but she has been on top of things mm -hmm. defensively. It looks like she's really really dialed in over there is she bringing something different in the uh the dugout that we're not seeing or what's the well they all bring yeah, they all no, bring a lot so she's she's locked in defensively and and she's taken some really good hacks offensively and um they they're all they're all locked in and uh they're fighting for their lives um and 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 we get to see them just put their hearts out on the field and and fight to keep playing and then we'll go over to zoom otis you may unmute yourself Coach, uh, how does the playing two games today? Uh, how does the pitching line up tomorrow for you? Well, all hands on deck, Otis. <laughs> Do you know who you'll start in the first nope. game? Nope. And you can tell me if you did. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I don't blame you. Yeah. Thanks, mm -hmm. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Thank you.